Hey everybody, Dr. Wenzel Brentwood, MD. Welcome to the latest video series I'm doing all about rethinking addiction. This is a topic that comes up all the time with my private members and I felt like it was time for me to create some content framing the way I think about this situation and ways that maybe might help you think about addiction but in a whole new way. The primary challenge as I see it is that we look at this topic of addiction from a completely biased and anchored way that is all surrounded around negativity, really rooted in the current model of understanding, the lens with which we look at and therefore deploy strategies to treat and manage addiction are either medical versus legal. They're are a large camp of my colleagues who believe this is an inheritable trait, that it is a brain disease, and therefore we must treat it. There are plenty of people who believe it's got nothing to do with a brain disease, that it's purely a choice, and therefore if you choose an addictive lifestyle, then there are negative consequences for that, but because it's a choice, you must punish it. This is a real challenge because neither of them really get to the root of why the addiction exists in the first place, and therefore no real meaningful progress is made in the topic. One of the men who I admire the most on this topic, his name is Gabor, Dr. Gabor Mate. He is a real thought leader on ADD, depression, addiction. I love his definition. He says, any behavior, any behavior. So we're not necessarily talking about just drugs and alcohol here, any behavior or substance that a person uses to relieve pain in the short term, but which leads to negative long-term consequences and can't give up. This is really, really an elegant definition because what it does is it, it gets away from the behavior of the addiction and it really addresses the core issue, which is relieving of the pain because Dr. Matei believes, and I believe with him, that all addiction is rooted in trauma. There is a pain origin story in every addictive behavior. We really shouldn't be asking why the pain. We really should be asking why the pain, not why the addiction. And I think when you start asking better questions, you get better answers. And if we really began to address this topic more from a why is there pain, a curiosity, an empathy for the pain, as opposed to this is a choice, punish it, or this is a disease, treat it. I believe we would be much further along in the journey of offering a solution and healing to those who are struggling with addiction. I hope this video series really begins to get you thinking about reframing the topic of addiction that it would serve you and the people that you love. Most of us have someone we know who has struggled with or is currently struggling with and in the teeth of addiction. I really believe that the progress here in rethinking it could be the very thing that leads us to a more beneficial future for others and you if you're struggling with this. So I hope this is helping you think about this in a new way in the next video. I'm going to be walking through how you can audit your life for things that, based on our new definition, may be an addiction. Until we meet again, I hope you're well. Take care.